So um, you saw the dungeon and you saw the torture room with the rack, right? Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, unless you want to count this dressing room, which as you can see is pretty much like any other dressing room that's out there. I mean, I guess us dominatrixes put on our boots one leg at a time, just like everybody else. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for the tour. Mm -hmm. um, would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Would I mind? Of course not, silly. That's why you're here. No, I hope you don't mind if I continue to get dressed while we talk. No, not at all. Okay, all right. Well, shoot. What can do you have? Can you tell us more about your day-to-day -day activities as a dominatrix? Oh, sure. Um, let's see. Well, first... I should rectify the myth because people call us sex workers and that's not really very accurate. Now, see, I see myself more as like a confidant, you know? Like somebody you can share your most secret fantasies with. Or maybe like an entertainer. Yeah, somebody you can actually act them out with. Honestly, when you think about it, I'm kind of a sexual anthropologist. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, if the aliens came down and wanted to know what we do behind closed doors, I'd have some pretty steamy stories to tell them, right? Mostly though, mostly I see myself as kind of a therapist. Yeah. Yeah, I provide a safe environment in which to explore your most secret, sacred fantasies. I like that. Such as? Such as... Well, take the concept of power, for example. I mean, you know, it's sexy and it's taboo and it's just wrought with seductive undertones. I mean, think about it. Having power and getting power and <laughs> using and abusing it. It's pretty sexy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clients hire me to explore that idea, to play with it a little bit. Heck, I've been a cop, I've been a mommy, I've been a headmistress. I was even Condoleezza Rice once. What's the craziest thing you've been? Oh, besides Condoleezza Rice? Let me see. Well, once I had a client who hired me to act out one of his little sexual fantasies um, about roots. That's what it was. Yeah, he had the slave girl thing. <laughs> He wanted me to be, oh my gosh, what was the Leslie Uggams character in that thing? What? Oh, oh, Kizzy. Kizzy, that's right. He wanted me to be his Kizzy. So did you do it? Did I do it? Are you kidding me? Heck no. No. I mean, he told me what he wanted, but as his therapist, I knew what he needed. Yeah, I showed up dressed as Cleopatra Jones and kicked his ass from here to Sunday. And what did he do? He paid me twice my session fee, booked me out through November, and referred one of his little internet friends. Hey, I'm good at what I do. If you don't mind my saying so, you seem too, well, nice to be a dominatrix. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much for saying... Did you... Did you just look me in my eye? Did you just look me in my motherfucking eye? Turn the camera. Turn the goddamn camera. Look, what I tell you about eyeballing me, slave, don't you make me come over there and get in that ass. That's right. Don't you forget yourself up in here. Turn the camera back and don't make me want to come over there and hurt you. Yes, mistress. Now. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, where were we? Oh, yes, that's right. I am very, very good at what I do. I see. Check your tone, slave. Now, what else can I tell you about? Um, you said you weren't really a sex worker. Yeah. To what extent is sex actually involved in your position? Oh, my gosh. Well, not at all, really. Oh, no, no. I mean... Yes. Do my clients get aroused? Absolutely. But the arousal is more of a virtual kind of encounter for them. I mean, I'm their mistress. I'm completely off limits to them. <laughs> Realistically, they will never have me. Ever. Never? <laughs> oh. But they want me. <laughs> Don't they want me, Slim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They want me. 
on all this sweet, sexy, soft, luscious mistress. <laughs> but they can't have me. No, uh uh. uh. Because they're just dirty, nasty, naughty little slaves. Aren't you? Aren't you a dirty, nasty, naughty slave boy? Uh, yes. 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 What? Yes, mistress. <laughs> yeah, that's a good slave boy. Now, I want you to turn that camera around, get on all fours, and lick my boot. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You lick it. You lick that boot clean. I walked through some dog shit on the way over here. I want you to lick that boot. You lick it. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. We're still filming. Um, well, as you can see, Diddy calls. Um, until next time. <laughs> yeah. This interview is over.